Hi and welcome to HighOnCoding.com. I'm your host Mohammad Azam, and in this particular demo, uh, or small screencast, I will show you that what are bubbled events in WPF. So let's go ahead and add a new item. Okay, and there are three type of kind of like three type of events in WPF programming. There is bubble events, there are also tunneled events, and there are CLR or direct events. So let's get to bubble event demo, bubble events. Okay. Okay. I'm going to make that as the start page. So let's go over there and just say demo bubbled events. So that is now our start page. If you go to the page, you will see that there's nothing. That's okay. That's not a big deal. What I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce a stack panel. A stack panel color. Let's make the color to be red. Not that much stack panel. Let's say the margin is 10. It's a little bit smaller stack panel. Maybe we'll set the width to 100 and height to 100. So there's a small stack panel. Now stack panel uh, contains a button, okay, and button content says like, okay, press me. So we have a button. Now we can also set the margin to the button, let's say 10. It's kind of like this, okay. And there's a, we will, we can handle uh, something on the stack panel, okay. So I can go over here and I can say on mouse, not on mouse, but mouse right button down and new event handler. We are going to name it as generic event handler. Okay. And let's go behind over here. I'm going to remove some of the stuff. I'm going to name it as generic event handler. I'm going to compile it. Oops. Uh, oh, uh, okay, here we go. Should do it, I guess. Okay, so we have a generic event handler, okay, and whenever uh, we click on the stack panel, which, which is like right click on the stack panel, that particular event handler will be fired. And I can actually over here say message box.show, and we can say, okay, show me the sender that who actually called the event. Oops, I'm sorry. Why is it? Oh, here we go. I think I have to do this. So here's our small demo. Now I'm going to say uh, right click on the button. But wait, what is going on? The, it's saying stack panel actually fired the event. So basically what is going on is that since this button has not handled this event, the event is handled by the stack panel. So it's saying that the stack panel it has handled the event. Now, bubbled events are kind of like if I click, if I make an event on this particular uh, button, so it's going to fire on the button, then it's going to go outward and going to fire on the stack panel it's going to go outward if there's a grid it's going to fire on the grid then it's going to go outward and it's going to fire on the window itself so you can think of the bubbled event as outward events and it's just going to you know fire from inside out so now there are certain things that you need to understand that when I click the sender is stack panel because stack panel is the one that is handling that event but I can also say e dot source so e dot source will let you know that what was the source for the event so if I click the right mouse button it's going to say that the source is actually button okay which is true because uh, even though the uh, event is handled by the stack panel but it is fired from the button but let's go ahead and see what is the another property which is the original source that's interesting original source what does that actually means let's click right click over here oh wait 
you are going to get a text block now that is kind of interesting because where the text block is actually coming from if you have seen the previous screencast about the mole in WPF visualizer then run the mole and then you will find out the button is not a single control but a combination of controls so a button control consists of the classic border decorator also the content presenter and the text block control everything that you see written in the in the button is actually a text block okay so if I fire it over here on the corner and not over here on the text you will see that there now it's a classic border decorator control so it is a different kind of controls inside the button control which makes up the button control okay now if it's handled by both of them then what will happen so if right now I'm handling only over here I can also handle over here mouse right button down okay and we can go over here and we can say that sender say so who is actually sending the events so now since both of them are handling the same event it will be fired twice one by the button and then by the stack panel as you can actually see let me go ahead and run another application which will which might give you a little bit more idea so here's an, in the, another example. I'm going to do the same thing. If I right click over here, you are going to say it's a stack panel. It's act actually right now I'm just holding all the events in this example. Uh, I think I'm halting it or something. Yeah, so let's remove that. Okay, so if I click over here, you'll see that the stack panel is fired because this was a preview event. Okay, uh, and then we have the button event fired. So preview, I'm going to show you later how that actually works uh, one more example I need to show you is window one this is kind of like an animated example so over here what I'll do is I will press right click on the button itself and then all the events are actually fired and saved in the list now I'm going to say re replay event and then you will see that how events are actually going to fire so the first one is text the button then the button again is fired because there's a button inside a button then we have stack panel there are two stack panels as you can see then there's a grid stack panel and then window okay so these are the orders in which the bubble event is actually fired if you do want to read more I have a very detailed article let me let me show it to you It's uh, Understanding Events in Windows Presentation Foundation. And uh, you can actually check out this particular article. It is very detailed and it explains all the stuff which is actually required. It also talks about the mold, which is a Visual Studio Debugger Visualizer. It's a pretty detailed article and I'm uh, pretty sure that you're going to love it. That's pretty much it. Thank you very much.